to the pin project. Today I'm going to be testing out the DIY gravity cake which I've seen everywhere on Pinterest and Tumblr. It's pretty much the cake and you see chocolate bars pouring into it. So today we're going to discover how is this really floating and hopefully it works. If you like it then please don't forget to subscribe down below and if you want me to test out anything that you see on Pinterest or Tumblr then give me a shout, comment down below and let me know what you want to try and I'll definitely give it a try. So stay tuned and let's see how this works out. To start I made a chocolate red velvet cake. I made it two tiers just so I can add the frosting to it and then we're going to need M&M's, Maltesers, Cadbury chocolate fingers and a straws or any two sticks that you have. Next you're going to need to flatten the cake as much as you can so that way when you add the top tier to it it doesn't wobble or fall off and you want it to just be as smooth as possible. So grab a long knife just like the one I have, it just makes life so much easier and that way you can flatten it as much as you can. And then I did the same thing with the top tier and just flattened it as much as I can because then we're going to put the frosting right over that. Next I grabbed some frosting and we're going to be putting that frosting in between the two cakes just so you have that little surprise in there when you bite into the cake. You can add strawberries if you want in, in between any kind of flavor that you want. Now here comes the fun part. You want to slap on there some frosting. We're going to put it all over the cake, on the top, on the edges, everywhere. At this point, nobody talk about calories. Game over. Now you're just going to enjoy the sugar. then I went over the cake one more time, just smoothed out the lines and as well took out any excess frosting that was on the, on the cake. Now here's where the tricky part comes. Grab the straws and just have an idea where you want to put the straws exactly for, to have the gravity look. And then you're going to grab the pack of M&Ms and I cut open the corner of the package. Make sure not to cut a big hole, just enough for the straw to be able to fit in and obviously enough for the M&M to be able to come out. And I did the same thing with the Maltesers. So then you're going to put your straws in or sticks, whatever it is, it doesn't really matter as long as it's sturdy and can uh, go through the cake. And then I melted some chocolate and we're going to be dipping that spatula in and we're going to put the chocolate right over the straws and that's where we're going to be able to stick on the chocolate over it. So first I grab the Maltesers and I'm dipping in one by one of the Malteser balls into the melted chocolate and I'm just placing it first thing around the straw and then we're slowly going to build our way up. That looks so good right now.
Just so I have a border of exactly where I want the splits to be between the Maltesers and the M&Ms. With the knife, I just carved out the shape that I wanted. And then I went crazy and put Maltesers everywhere. So then next, I did the M&M's, I placed the chocolate to the bottom of the frosting and you want to make it look like it's kind of falling so that's why I put on the edges as well. Now for the chocolate, as you add on chocolate and dip it into the M&M's, make sure to, in between layers, you want to wait a little bit, let the chocolate harden and then add on the next layer, otherwise all your chocolates are going to fall over. So once that's done, then you're ready to put your empty packs of chocolates and make it look like it's floating. Now this part is optional, but why not? Go ahead and pack on more chocolate. So just grab the sticks and wrap it around the chocolate wherever you didn't put any M&Ms or Maltesers. If you want, you can add a ribbon around it just to tie it in, but I didn't need to do that. It stuck in very nicely. And that's it. There's your delicious gravity cake. It was so, so yummy. We finished this in a matter of a day or two, I think, and then started going to the gym right after that. Anyways, I hope you liked this. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe if you want to watch any more videos like this. Thanks for watching.